Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my uh, semi auto tree farm. Bam! All right, here we go. I did a couple takes on this, and the video is coming out to like 10 minutes and 12 minutes and whatnot, so I want to make this one a bit of a quickie. So, this is the uh, farm itself. Once it's all full, it does the uh, wall, pushes it out, and you'll have a huge block of it. All right. So I started it here, five normal pistons, a space of two, one behind, uh, normal pistons, and right next to it, sticky pistons. Um, this is your butt switch. I suggest pausing the video here. I was going to make the switch, you know, uh, myself, uh, but I just, you know, wanting to save some time on the video. So obviously this is a sticky piston. Uh, however you build it, you want to have this retracted. So, you know, something like that works. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. So we can start here, block here, block here, block here, block here. And we're going to get some dust on this, this, and this, and this. And apparently a signal can be conducted downwards with um, powered rails. That was actually one of the steps that helped me condense this thing. You should have seen it when I first started it. It was massive. Uh, but, you know, just took time to get all the pieces together. Uh, normally here I put four repeaters on four ticks. It's kind of slow, uh, just, you know, reliable, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I had a bunch of requests to do this, uh, surprisingly enough. It's just, you know, one of my older builds, but I guess people thought it was kind of neat. And, you know, I'd love to do it. It is one of my favorite, you know, things that I've ever built, even though it's not the most uh, efficient thing in the world. But, yeah. But also, uh, like normal, apparently... I think a lot more clearly when I'm doing these videos because I was able to condense this um, little wiring portion here. If you remember the showcase one, if you watched that video, uh, this thing is kind of a mess, but uh, not anymore. So all we're going to do is go here, go up, down, that's it. See, just a little like uh, stair, and there we go. All right, now we're going to wire it all in to this this is the output big important thing if you're just kind of like you know saying oh I get it and then you're gonna build it uh, make sure this is all level like right here after this point it can go down but uh, otherwise it just kind of went crazy on me when I was trying to just do it all you know willy-nilly just wing it all right so it is good to go basically what we're gonna do now is a wall of pistons it's a uh, four high wall and it's uh, ten of them it's uh, two aside from that one. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. All right, perfect. All right, so this one is, is super simple to wire. Make sure, you know, that these are normal pistons. I was building kind of like the prototype in this world just to be able to get it started. And for the longest time, I was using sticky pistons, and I couldn't figure out what's going wrong, which is, I guess, a hazard of... Um, doing this stuff on creative you know just kind of lose track of all the tools you have but yeah all we're going to do is just go like so right behind it we are going to need a torch what happens is when the wood hits here the torch will actually conduct this way i normally put a bra uh, block here because i just like separating it um, and then we're going to go out like so then we're going to go here and then we're going to go out, <clears throat> and we're going to put a repeater right here, actually. All right, we're going to put a block, and then we're going to put a block here. This is going to be just kind of like a, like a ladder, or not a ladder, but like a stair setup, just to get the signal up there. So we're going to do this, get it all wired in. <clears throat> all right. Let's see how it's working. Uh, you know, normally you can test it out. You'll see the pistons doing what they're supposed to be doing. There we go. Full-blown wall. All right, now what I suggest doing here is, you know, covering it up. You want this to look, you know, like part of your world and whatnot. So, you know, just embellish it a bit. Uh, one big thing, I always put glass. Well, actually, I start off with some glowstone. I have, like, this huge assumption that the lighting plays a big part in the tree machine working. Um, which, you know, probably just me, but it works. It works for me, so that's what I go with. Make sure that it's two above, <clears throat> like your ceiling is, uh, actually, I'm sorry, one above the pistons to allow for the tree to grow. Otherwise, if it's not tall enough, they will just refuse to grow or grow very rarely. I put this in the event of saplings or apples. 
And here we go. Let's try it. All right, perfect. What I normally end up doing here as well is I will put some kind of separation so that the um, the leaves get separated from the trunk itself and then it allows for them to decay. Without that, then, you know, they will not decay. So um, something that I was told from a fellow YouTuber, uh, Walter D., <clears throat> is that apparently, you see all these leaves just kind of grew out, is if you place signs that it will make it to where the leaves don't grow. So let's assume that what he's saying is actually the case. And, you know, we'll just stamp some stamp some on the higher portions of this. Um, because, you know, if, if it does work, then it'll be very helpful because uh, most of the time is spent, um, you know, hitting leaves just to get them out of the way. So we'll go here. Let's see, a couple more signs. More signs, more signs, why not? All right, and yeah, we can put some in here. No. And, oh, wait, there's already one there. All right, hold on. Do I normally go two back on that? Yeah, I normally go two back on that, like right um, on the corner of the glowstone. Otherwise, it seems to like restrict it a bit much. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go with what works. And just, yeah, sign it up. We'll trust Mr. Uh, D on this one. All right, so now we're here. We're going to test this out real quick. Let's just give ourselves a practically full uh, setup so you guys can see that it works. Well, hopefully it doesn't freak out. Um, but, yeah, come on, tree trunks. All right, so now we have oak. It only works with oak, guys. I mentioned that on the other video. Uh, but yeah, we'll hit some bone meal with it. It'll go. Push. Oh, we need what? One more? One more it is. All right, here. Look, maybe you could use some signs here. All right, let's try it again. I don't suggest putting signs here. I guess we could. It can't hurt. I don't know if it'll like uh, restrict the growth on the tree, but we'll find out. Go tree grow. There we go. <clears throat> Something is here with the wiring. Maybe, uh, let's see, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now it should be activating. I don't know why it, the signal isn't getting there. Well, uh, oh, I see why, because of the dang signs. But yeah, if you want to keep the signs, then, you know, just make your uh, wall here one less. Can't hurt. Um, and if it's restricting the leaves, it'll save you on smacking leaves around. So, you know, why not? If you don't and you want to just get a bigger um, portion, just close, you know, get rid of these, put those pistons back. But yeah, that is it, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Subscribe up top uh, again love suggestions uh, of anything that I might showcase in the future or anything that you're just looking to see if it works But yeah, awesome guys like the video subscribe up top and peace out